Julie Ellender yet again. Are you happy? Because I'm happy. I hope you guys are quite happy. I wanted to show you guys something kind of cool today. I went to the Dollar Tree in town and I bought a batch of cheesecloth, which you, know, you can tell I've already used. Um, but I bought this, obviously, it's a Dollar Tree, so it was only a dollar and there was quite a bit of it. And I'm going to be using this to help me with my background today. Now, what I'm doing, I'm just tucking this underneath my book because my book is kind of heavy. But if you guys have some clips or something to weigh this down to make sure you know that it doesn't move, I suggest you use them. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spray my book down with some fancy schmancy delusions colors. Let's see what other color I have here. See if this one works. Sometimes it does. Sometimes, oh, sometimes it doesn't. Red. Here we go. We'll get a little turquoise. While this is still on here, I'm going to take my heat tool and dry this very quickly. All right. I'm going to take that off. And look at that. You got a really cool pattern. Now, another thing that I have found works, and since this is already quite colorful, I'm going to take my little distress paint dauber here and I'm just going to put some paint on here just like so and it doesn't really take that much and you can see it makes a nice little imprint with the cheesecloth it's really cool or I'm going to take a different section here that doesn't have a ton of color on it. I'm going to take my white Delusions paint here and I'm just going to lightly dip that there. I'm going to take it and kind of spread it around within itself. trying to take care not to get any of the ink mixed in with the white. And I'm just kind of stamping in places. So I thought this was uh, quite a fun idea. As usual, I try to do really simplified things because I I don't like overcomplicating a process because then I find that my art journal page gets just out of control and crazy and then I get stuck and don't know what to do with it. So really fun. I like how the colors came out. I love the texture. I think the texture is really cool. And another really awesome thing that you can do with the cheesecloth that I just thought about is you can just rip this off into pieces if you want some really extra cool texture on your page. You can cut this into pieces and place them on your page and um, you can go over it with gel medium or gesso and just leave it there and that's going to be some really cool texture for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this. This was just a really quick little tutorial. I hope it was easy to follow. Let me know if it wasn't, but I hope it was. I added a couple of more things to it along with a funny little quote. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Thanks for watching and feel free to give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys soon.